Okay, so let's uh, create a, our uh, jump scare animation. All right, and I'm going to start by first uh, switching this uh, to animation only. Okay, that way I can only select uh, the bones. Um, let's uh, begin first by setting up a new camera, and I'm going to label this a uh, scary cam. All right, and uh, let me uh, position this camera here. I'm going to um, set up a new keyframe right after I position my camera. Okay, I'm hitting S uh, to uh, create a new keyframes. Let me try this out. Maybe a little higher. Um, I'm going to um, bend uh, his arms a little bit. Um, that's that's uh, not too bad. Let's um, select his uh, neck. Maybe he can start uh, around here. I'll just set up a keyframe there. Maybe one at eighteen. Uh twenty two. And one at twenty four, maybe. Let's try this out. Now it's a bit slow. Warning. So if he starts, uh, if he's going to the left here, maybe we can uh, create an in between uh, to the right. We just want him to him to move his head really quickly. All right. Let's um go back to the camera and uh, let's uh, do a slight zoom. And all I'm doing here is uh, really uh, zooming in and out and panning the camera a little bit. And this will be the last frame. Make sure he's looking at, uh, at the camera. All right.
Okay, uh, maybe with a little bit of practice uh, this might come out uh, a little better. But uh, for the sake of this example, we're going to leave it like this. And uh, I'm going to um, uh, go to the uh, rendering options. Okay. And um, I'm going to assign this uh, to be a PNG uh, a sequence. Okay. Let me uh, set this uh, to name number extension. Uh, let's render to uh, frame 24. And uh, we don't want to render from perspective. Uh, we want to render from uh, scary cam. Okay, this is the resolution. If you're using a higher resolution, you should change this. All right. Okay, so I'm going to hit a, a batch render. 